Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another two-in-one synthetic wig review. I know you guys like these kinds of videos. I have two units brought to you by Janet Collection. These are new, a part of their Natural Me Collection. They just dropped like six. So I wanted to snag a few of them to review for you guys. Shout out to Kyra Sean for putting me on. I love you, girl. Thank you. So yeah, if you guys want to hear all my thoughts and opinions and watch me style these wigs, let's go ahead and jump right on into today's video. The first wig that we are going to try out today is Janet Collections Sierra, and this is what she looks like in the box. I have this one in the color DR1B slash dark chocolate and I don't know what that color looks like because there was no color swatch on wigtypes.com. It brought me back to Outre Julianne and that color chocolate truffle so I was like you know what dark chocolate that sounds right up my alley. Here is a better look at what that stock card is looking like and then on the back they do have swatches of the different colors that are available with this wig. So here is what Sierra looks like straight out of the box. This color is really pretty. I feel like it's gonna match my natural hair color to a T because I'm kind of in between a number two and a number four and this is kind of giving me my natural hair color vibes. You can definitely tell that it is super dark but unless you're directly in the sunlight or in the lighting, that's when you can see like the brownish tint. So I'm kind of excited to try this out. It is set as a left side part and it is a curved part. Here's what that looks like. It does look a little bit tight. We'll see once I put it on if I'm gonna have to go in and remove any of the hairs from the parting space. It does have baby hairs. They are short and kinky and they also feel a little thin, which is nice, they're not super thick. Like I mentioned, this wig is a preset as a left side part. You get two combs on the left and right hand side of the parting space. They're not ear to ear. The combs are right here in the front. And you do get a comb in the back as well as adjustable straps. So I'm going to go ahead and try this wig on, see how she fits, and then we'll go ahead and get into the styling portion of this video. <laughs> oh, wow. The hairline actually looks pretty nice on this wig. The bang is just covering it up, though, so you really can't even see it. It is fitting me pretty well. It feels like it is coming down ear to ear on both sides. Like I thought, this parting space is getting kind of lost because of the volume around it. So I might go in and tweeze, if not try to flatten this out somehow, because I feel like if it was a little bit flatter, you'd be able to see the part. So I'm gonna go ahead and style this wig and then I'll be back to give you guys my final thoughts and opinions. So yeah, let's go ahead and get her together. done styling Sierra and this is how she's looking y'all I'm gonna just let y'all know this took me about five minutes to style I'm not exaggerating I did go in with my blow dryer on warm heat and that's what I used to kind of flatten out around the parting space and it did help make the part more pronounced and then all I did was went in with my face powder this lace on this unit is a medium brown and it blended in really well. And I feel like the lace is a lot better than the ones with Kiara, Yana, and Zara, the most recent like curly collection that they released. Um, I felt like that lace was a little bit on the lighter side and this one is a little bit darker so I didn't have any issues blending it down. 
I did also pull out a little bit of hair around the parting space just to make it a little bit more natural looking. And that was it. I tucked this behind my ear because I didn't love how the curls were falling towards my face. I kind of wish they were going away from the face, but that's just my personal preference. And I did go in with a little bit of black eyeshadow to conceal the lace right here along my hairline. I also ran my fingers through this hair. I knew that I didn't want to take a brush to it and fully brush it out. So I did just lightly like run my fingers through this wig. I did receive a little bit of shedding, but no tangling, which is nice. Here we are, like this was so easy. It is very pretty and I'm kind of getting used to the whole left part situation. I've been trying to switch it up a little bit because y'all know if you are set to a certain part, Sometimes wearing a part on your non-strong side, I don't know, does feel a little bit weird and almost feels like you have like your shoes on the wrong foot, but I've been trying to switch it up and part my hair different ways. So having a left side part doesn't feel weird to me now and I'm actually kind of feeling it and I like, maybe it's because I got my nose ring back in or something, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, I really do like this wig, it is very pretty. It's giving me like pageant vibes, big hair. I will say though that this is a lot of hair. It is a thick density. Your girl is sweating. I'm sweating. My ceiling fan is on. I do have some studio lights on me right now, but y'all, I'm hot, <laughs> okay? Like I am perspirating. I need to reapply my deodorant. This is a lot of hair. I feel like Janet Collection released this at a good time now that we are transitioning. If you are not in Florida or the South, we are transitioning into fall and winter. So I feel like this wig is going to be appropriate for that season. If they would have released this in the summer, I would have been like, nah, <laughs> okay? You will die of a heat stroke. But anyways, um, I do love the length on me. It is sitting right at about 14 inches, 14, 16 inches, maybe with the longest layer. And I love that it is definitely an everyday length. I will turn around so you guys can see it from all angles. Just be mindful that I did not brush through the back. So the back is probably gonna look a lot more uniformed and like straight out of the box because I didn't run my fingers through the back of this wig. But yeah, so I'll go ahead and turn around so you guys can see what it looks like and give you guys a quick 360. Here is the left side of the wig. I will also leave a link down in the description box where I purchased these clips from. I love that I found the one with pearls on it because I have pearl earrings in, so I was like, ooh, matches. Here is the back with all the hair to the back. And here's what the right side is looking like. I wanted to try this wig on first because I feel like I'm going to like the other one a little bit more just because I typically don't love a lot of curls like that all up in my face. I don't know, it just doesn't look very flattering on me. I do think that this is a really pretty wig. It was very easy to style, so that is a huge plus in my opinion, especially when it comes to beginner-friendly wigs. And yeah, I really don't have any cons. If I had to say something, it would probably be the shedding, but it's not something that is like overwhelming and it wouldn't deter me from purchasing this wig. So just keep that in mind and also keep in the back of your mind that this is a lot of hair, so it is going to bring a lot of heat on your neck and your face. I think that's it for Sierra. If you guys have any questions, leave me a comment down below. I'm gonna go ahead and switch on into Miss Deidre, so I will be right back. Whoo, y'all, that wig is so hot. I know I've said it like three or four times already, but dang, taking that off felt really, really good. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get into Miss Deidre. This is what she looks like here in the package. And I have Deidre in a color number two. Here is a better look at her stock card. This wig seems to be more up my alley. I like that very like blown out, really pretty classic style. And on the back, the same as Sierra, they offer you some color swatches for the other colors available. Here is what Deidre looks like straight out of the box. She's kind of giving me that free tress. Was it the roller set wig? Man, I loved that wig. Y'all did too, because y'all love that video. But this is kind of giving me that type of vibe. I love the shine and the texture looks on point. This one is a right side part and here is what that parting space is looking like. And this one doesn't seem to have as much body, but we'll see once I put it on. It also does come with baby hairs just like Sierra did. Now it's weird putting on a wig with a right side part when I just had one on with a left side part. And I went ahead and did my baby hairs on one side just to cover them up. Now I gotta do my baby hairs on this side. Yeah, this cap definitely feels a little more snug. Did this wig just take one of my dang press-ons? Sure did. So I definitely feel like this one is laying a lot flatter and I'm not even gonna go ahead and test it with some heat because I'm not mad at how this is situated. I'm gonna go ahead and style this wig. Hopefully it is just as easy as Sierra and I will be right back to give you guys my final thoughts and opinions. Oh, babe. 
styling Deidre and this is what she's looking like this was also a very easy wig to style it took me about five minutes I do appreciate a good plop and go and I feel like these ones are falling under that category so when I initially put this wig on I wasn't really feeling the style but we all know that sometimes you just got to brush it out have the wig on for about five ten minutes before you can really make up your mind and I don't love it but I ain't mad at it, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It is kind of giving me Nisha 206 vibes. However, this is a right side part instead of a middle part. And obviously it is a little bit longer, but the way that it's styled is kind of giving me that vibe. So, <clears throat> man, my voice is really tripping. I do love this length. It's falling about 12 to 14 inches on me. I am six feet tall. I will also do a 360 so you guys can see this unit in its entirety. So let's go ahead and turn around so I can show you guys what this wig looks like. Here's what it looks like to the left and this is where the bang falls because this is a right side part. Here's what the wig looks like to the back. Here's what it looks like to the right. It's 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 something it's cute i'm not mad at it but i'm also not in love with it i do like that i didn't have to go in with any type of heat tool to flatten out around the parting space all i did was add some powder i also added some black eyeshadow over here even though i didn't tuck it behind my ear like i did with sierra um i still added some black powder just so that i could conceal that um lace around my hairline this wig is fitting me a lot snugger than Sierra. Sierra is definitely more big head friendly than this wig so just keep that in mind. Being that it is a natural blown out texture and the texture is fabulous. I love it. It is super soft. I forgot to mention that about um, Sierra but this texture is amazing so blending in your edges or your baby hairs won't be an issue. Shouldn't be an issue however depending on what hair type you have. So if you are a bigger head girl like myself and you need to pull out some of your edges, you should be able to blend them in easily. I don't love how this is fitting on me. I did have to use the comb on this side because the wig kept falling back and sliding back and that's not cute. But yeah, the style is cute. It's very momish. Let me know what you guys think of these wigs. Let me know which one you favor more. I really thought that I was gonna like this one more, but now that I have it on, I guess if I had to choose, I would choose Sierra, even though that's not really my style either. I don't know. So both these wigs that I tried on today do have a high density. It is a natural density. I'm not mad at it. However, like I've mentioned multiple times, it does bring a lot of heat. So definitely bring these wigs out if you're going to purchase them more towards like the definite fall season. I know now we're kind of like teetering on that awkward fall summer you know, time right now, but these are definitely more like cold weather, sweater weather wigs. In my opinion, both these wigs do fall under the affordable price point. They are under $30, so I love that. I will leave a Google link down below in the description box. Make sure you shop around and get it for as least money as possible, because like I say, no matter what site you purchase it from, you are getting the same wig. So take shipping into consideration when you are purchasing these wigs. And yeah, let me know how you guys thought of both Sierra and Deidre. Which one do you like best? If you guys are here for these two-in-one wig reviews and you want to see more of them here on my channel, give this video a thumbs up. Hit that red button down below if you have not subscribed already to my channel and turn on the bell so you never miss an upload from me. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!